Okay, now we're going to take a look at the trigeminal nerve. Now the trigeminal nerve is going to be taking care of your facial muscles. So think a lot about masseter and temporalis, pterygoids, and the range of motion test for that is simply to open your mouth and take your non-dominant hand and see how many knuckles go in there. Now initially, Travell called this the three knuckle test. When they redid their edition, they said it's now a two knuckle test. I'm going to try my two knuckles. That is not a problem whatsoever. I'm gonna try for three. There's no way I'm getting three in there. I got about two and a half though. I don't know if I'm gonna do any better with that. Now the other thing I can do is I can assess the quality of the movement of the jaw as I go from side to side. I could also look, and I'm not going to do this on camera, but I could have them open the mouth very slowly and close it very slowly while I'm watching and see if we get any deviation of the jaw. So those are ways of assessing that. Now, in order to actually do the floss, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little bit of retraction up here with the head, and then I'm gonna side bend, I'm gonna rotate and look down towards the pocket on this side, and then I can move the jaw back and forth. I'm gonna do this 10 times. Now, if I wanted to add the facial nerve to this, I don't have a range of motion for that, but I could be doing the motion with my eyes, the same thing, looking up and down. So that's how you would do that. So I've done that on one side. I feel like I ought to do that on the other side. So I'm gonna do the retraction, the side bend, rotate, and then back and forth with the jaw. In my book, I call that the jig jaw. Let's see, here's my two fingers. And let's see. I just did three fingers. I don't think I've ever done three fingers before in my life. That worked.